Hey folks and welcome back to another one. In today's video, I'm going to be bringing you all a how to clean a lake trout video. Over the past couple days, me and my dad and his buddies had all gone out fishing for lake trout. In total, we managed to catch around 16 lake trout. So we decided to keep a couple. Here's one of them. So it's a nice like four pound lake trout. It's perfect for eating. So for me, I think about four pounds is probably a good cutoff range for eating a lake trout. Uh, most lake trout, once they start getting into that you know, 27 plus inch range really start to build a lot of fattiness and they don't really taste as good in my opinion. I really like those smaller ones for pan frying and baking. And I think we're gonna use these fillets to bake them. So with all sorts of species, there's about three different methods that you can do that are situational. The first method you can do is just cut behind the front fin, cut the head straight off, gut the fish, and you can cook it whole like that. It's good for uh, wrapping it in tin foil and baking it or pan frying it whole. But that method is primarily for smaller fish to put in like a frying pan or over like a little fire. Uh, you can also do it cutting behind the fin and then cutting up the back. But for me, I always personally find, because trout have very soft bones, that you often poke through those rib bones and it ends up messing it up. So you might as well do the third method and just cut straight through the entire fish, get the whole filet off and then work your way from there. So that is what we're gonna do. So let's get right into it. So for step number one, what I like to do is I like to just come underneath here and gut the fish. You don't have to do this first, but I like to do it first because you don't wanna be filleting the fish with the guts inside because it'll get like junk all over the meat and it makes it a really bad hassle. And cuts down the cleaning of the meat that you're gonna have to do after. Take out all these organs, and then you just rip these all out. Sometimes it can get stuck up here, so if you just wanna use your knife, and there we are. So you can just throw those guts aside. Now you have a pretty clean cavity here, so it'll make it a lot easier. So the next step that you wanna do, you wanna flip it over onto the side, just like this, and you can start cutting around that fin, straight through, and then curl it up when you get behind the head because there's a lot of meat up here. So you can just come up there like that, cut behind the head. You wanna turn your knife, flatten it out along the fish and just cut down the entirety of the fish along the center bone, just like this. And just cut that whole filet right off. So there's one filet, cut behind the head Cut around that front fin until you hit that spinal bone. And then turn your knife flat and run it along the entirety of the fish. So just like this. There is the carcass. You can just put that aside. So now that you have the flay off, all you're gonna to wanna to do is come here and you can feel where all those rib bones are. Start your knife right above those rib bones and just gently cut down behind them all the way down to the bottom. And then just curl your knife up just like this and curl it up and run it in long strokes down the whole of the rib bones just like this. Okay, so there's the rib bones all gone. Next, what you're gonna wanna do is just hold down on the skin at the back here, cut down a little bit, and this is to de-skin the fish. So grab a hold, the little piece of skin, and what I like to do is flip the meat over the filet every so often, just like this. This just makes it so it's more thorough and you're getting a better grip every couple inches. Keep going just like this all the way down to the end and there we go completely de-skinned feel those rib bones cut down a little bit and then just slice it up towards you just like this and then once you reach these little fatty parts down here on the belly you can just cut this all off just like that and then Come down to the end of the filet by the tail, pinch the skin with your fingernails down towards your uh, table. And then every couple inches, I just like to flip the meat 
over the top of the fillet makes it a lot easier and then just keep doing that all the way down until you get the complete fillet off of the skin There's a piece of skin. As you can see, there's no meat on there. Just this little parts here. That's just like the fat layer uh, between the skin and the meat. So that's okay to get off. It's really fishy. And then just wanna feel along, find those pin bones. Starting at the front here. You can usually see them. You can see those little red dots along the fish. Find where it ends. So they end right here. So you just wanna cut down the entirety of that fillet, just like that. Cut down at the end, and then do the other side. Down the entirety of the fillet. As you can see, this fish is a little mushy still. It's breaking apart. So there we go, that filet is completely deskinned and deboned. I'm gonna be baking these fish, so it's gonna be very, very delicious. And another piece of this fish that you can actually get is the cheek. I know a lot of people, you know, only keep walleye cheeks, but any big fish will always have a nice big chunk of cheek meat. So we're gonna cut through the cheek there. You can just feel where the soft spot is. And just cut that big circle piece of meat out there. There we go, there's the cheek. It's a nice big chunk of meat. And what you're gonna wanna do to get the skin off is just you can kinda catch a little corner with your knife and just gently slice it off there. And then once you get that little corner, you can just grab it and you can just peel it right off of the meat, just like this. There we go. So there's the two chunks of cheek meat. That's a lot of cheek meat. That's really nice. So there we go, folks. There is a completely deboned, de-skinned lake trout. All the meat that you're gonna get is right here. As you can see, there's no waste whatsoever. This is all bone here. It's very thin. We got the cheeks. So everything you're gonna want is right here. And that's very, very delicious eating. It's a nice little bit of orange to it. So it's very, very good. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video please leave a like down below please leave a comment if you have any questions and please hit that subscribe button it would mean a lot take care